To write the name for PbCO3, we first need to recognize that Pb here, this lead, is a transition metal. And this CO3, this is a polyatomic ion. It's the carbonate ion. So we have the transition metal and the polyatomic ion here. And we can use these rules to write the name for PbCO3. First, we write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. So Pb, that's lead. And then we'll write the name for the polyatomic ion. So you either remember that CO3, this polyatomic ion, is called the carbonate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up. So lowercase c. And so far, we have lead carbonate is the name for PbCO3. But lead, it's a transition metal. So because lead is a transition metal, we need to write the charge in the name here. This whole carbonate ion is 2 minus. This is a really good one to remember. So the lead, it's going to have to be 2 plus for the net charge to add up to 0. So we'll put a 2, Roman numeral 2 here, between the names. And the name for PbCO3 is lead 2 carbonate. If you're given this name and asked to write the formula, you'd know that the lead would be 2 plus because of the Roman numeral. The carbonate, it's always 2 minus. So we have Pb and then one carbonate ion for lead 2 carbonate. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.